Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's called Tech Lorian, and for today's video, we will be doing a basic and quick run through of CODA files or .cod files. These are basically electronic bank statements that the bank provides you, and in relation to SAP, you you get these .cod files and you import it to SAP. And the way to do that is to use transaction code FEBC. Now this one is pretty standard. You use this transaction code to upload these .cod files and correspondingly convert it to multicache format. We do the conversion to multicache format so that SAP can interpret it and consume it and eventually you get the results in transaction code FEBAN or FEBAN where you can do some post processing of uh, bank statements. For this video, we will be talking about how to interpret .cod files. Now, a lot of you may be SAP consultants or even uh, SAP support consultants who may need to understand the actual file. So, what I usually do is I go to this website. I go to the www.febblefin.be I don't know how you pronounce it, but this is what I refer to. This is in PDF format. You can see that this is the latest version and you can just scroll down, go over the, the information as to how to read or interpret the .cod file. Now for an in-depth explanation, I do have a blog post on this. This is found on techlorian.com. This is the site where you can just browse through and maybe click on uh, SAP FI under financial accounting and then to bank accounting. Now this one will open this blog post it's called the sap electronic bank statements belgium conversion of coda to multicash this is a part a out of part b now what i'm going to do is yeah you have the link here for the pdf i'm just going to open it up in adobe reader there you go and we can go and skip to page 14. There we go, where we can see header record 0. I'm going to open up a sample.cod file which I created for <laughs> uh, teaching or tutorial purposes. But uh, just so we're all aligned, number one, of course, make sure you obtain the actual .cod file. Number two, have the reference PDF from Febblefin in handy. Then, of course, number three, you need Notepad++. This is what I use. Uh, I find it easy to use and much more visual friendly, if that makes any sense. And number four, have your MS Word in handy. Really native and basic applications for you to interpret. So once you have the actual .cod file, I have one here. I just right click and open or edit with a notepad plus plus. It looks like this. And right now you have several rows available for your analysis. We can start off with the first row, but before anything, what I like to do is I copy-paste everything and I paste it in Microsoft Word 
it's going to look something like this. Why do I do this? I do this because this allows me to highlight. Highlight, do some font changes, do this and that, everything. It's just a lot easier since the Notepad++ doesn't have that. Uh, what I use for Notepad++ is if I put my cursor over here, you can watch the the lines and the column and then the count below. So if I click on the right arrow, you will see that the column number increments right over here. So 9, 10, 11, 12. It just helps me count. Anyway, enough of that. What you can do is by basing on the file, we can go to the basics. Let me just note that down here some helpful tips would be to refer to page 14 for the start of interpretation but we can go to the topmost not sure actually where it is but yeah here we can see that in page 4 referring to the records we can now see that there are various records that make up the .cod file 0 indicates header 1 indicates old balance 2 is for movement 3 is for additional information 8 is for new balance 4 is optional Sometimes I don't see this number, but uh, it's fine if it's there. In my example, I won't be covering this one. And then lastly, we have 9 for the trailer record. So 0 is the start. 9 is the end. If we go back to our Notepad++, we see that the numbers are indeed there. 0, 1, Two, 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 so on and so forth until we reach the end, which is 9. If I were to highlight it according to the, the records, it would look something like this. Let me just zoom in. So we have the header. 1 would be the old balance. Let me just put it there. One would be the old balance, that's the one highlighted in green. Then we have the two, which uh, stands for the movement. Three is for additional information. And notice that the, the twos and then the threes can be multiple, that's fine. But one thing to take note of is that if there is a bunch of information with uh, 2 as the indicator. Remember that the first 3 you find in this one would serve as the supporting information. So this one supports this set of data and this one supports this set of data. It's fine if there are multiple 3's and then it's fine if there are multiple 2's. Okay, and of course we have 8 for the new balance, it's over here, and 9 for the trailer record. Okay, now we're going to talk about how to actually use the PDF file to interpret. I'm going to open up Notepad++ again, and yeah, maybe we can start off like this and have the PDF to the side. Let's Skip to page 14 where we will talk about the header record 0. This means that for this means that for header record 0, it's going to start with position 1 and number 1, right? So we're going to start here. That means if I count 1, that's already the record identification, which is 0. Then I can count from 2 to 5. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That would be the zeros. 
which corresponds to this header record over here. Then if we were to continue, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, that would signify the date or the creation date. So this one just, you know, talks about how many uh, digits are there and this one serves as the count, which you can also refer in the uh, column portion of Notepad++. One thing to take note of is you should always do a minus one in Notepad++ because it, it, it counts the first as number one. So if you do this one, it's already two. Okay, another uh, thing is, for example, this one, 12 to 14, you can do a big count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We stopped here. 12, 13, 14, back identification, and then we have 15, 16 as the application code 5. This seems to be a fixed number or a constant, so that would be it. Now if I were to move over to Microsoft Word and do the count there, I would do this sort of highlight. It would look something like this. This means that this is the this is the record identification zero. You have the leading zeros here and then the date, which is underlined. It really depends as to how you want to interpret. But to me, I find it really useful to make use of several fonts and highlights just so I can distinguish. I know it's hard to read flat files or .cod files, but um, this is how I do it. And I hope that you found this useful for you if you want an in-depth guide or some more information with regards to this topic. You can always head over to my blog or website. It's called techlorian.com where you can browse through the different categories and posts below. I'll also leave the article or blog post link down below. There are already helpful links and some sample uh, tips. For example, this one I mentioned that for my Microsoft Word settings, I used this font size, this type of setting just so I can make sure that everything is all bunched up and I can still see it row per row. If you have any questions, you can feel free to uh, contact me through the website or comment down below or even send me an email. I'll have my contact details available. I hope this helps you and yeah, good luck. See you in the next video.